there's absolutely hope because I never thought I would even step foot in the house again, never mind have a relationship of any sort. All right, so uh, I'm, I'm talking to Tony here today. And, uh, you know, the reason I, I, I'm having this conversation is because Tony joined us, what, about a month ago now, Tony, probably, was it? Something like that, somewhere around a month ago? Pretty close to four weeks to the day, actually, yeah. Cody. Yeah, and, uh, you know, just just full disclosure here, still it's still a journey in progress. Like, it's far from from Tony's won, won the game here and, and everything is is is, is perfect in paradise again we're definitely still on the road to to uh you know a better a better world here but there's definitely been some progress and i just wanted to talk to you tony about some some of the changes that you've seen and and really the thing that i like about you is the the, the embrace embracing the, the the right attitude so um just talk to us a little bit where where were you when you came to us tony four weeks ago where- oh wow well, um we'll put it this way cody even having a conversation without being emotional and breaking down and holding a sentence together was probably was probably the best description. So in pretty low, pretty lost, felt very, very weak, um, complete lack of direction, um, and really not knowing what steps to take in terms of bettering myself. But what I knew I needed some guidance and some support and some help. That was clear, and it's been that it's been like that for a long time. Yeah. Um, obviously, you know the, those dark moments. You know, you can either shy away or you try and look for help. And I did a lot of was researching and. I found um, your services, which really resonated with me when I first sort of looked into it and, and, and heard you speak. And, and the, the descriptions, although not specific to me, I could totally resonate and connect with those feelings or, or, or problems that I had. And that's what really started yeah. that process to talk to you. But yeah, I was in a very dark, dark place, lack of direction, lack of priority, lack of focus, lack of purpose, really. It was, it was, it was probably pretty as low as you can probably go without thinking about not being on the planet anymore and and where were you at in your marriage so so you you were in a, were you in a caravan at that time yeah i was at, well the first time i was in a hotel i was i was, I was obviously yeah. i leave the house which i respected and spent a few days in a in a hotel and i ended up spending probably two weeks in a hotel um and that's where i really did a lot of the study material and working with you and your team um, then, I, then I moved into a caravan park just from a commercial point of view. It was obviously a, a cost effective <laughs> to do it. Uh, but continue, continued the study. But I'm, you know, for four weeks later, I can so gladly say from my heart that I'm back in my house. Although cohabitating, if you like, um, it's, it's an yes. amicable position. But I, I'm, I'm home right now after four weeks, which I didn't think I'd even see the family again properly, to be honest, at the beginning. So that, that's, a, that's, a big, that's a big swing. That's a massive positive step. Yeah, yeah. So, so gone basically from being out of the house, whether kicked out or voluntarily left to uh, back, you know, back in the in the family unit with the with the wife and kids, and uh, which is some, great. Some moving in the in the right, right direction. So, what what were some of the uh, some of the things that have happened in the last uh, well over the past weeks and, and the past month or so that's allowed you to really reconcile the position with your wife to get to get back on that that path of recovery. What have been some big things for you? Oh, for sure. Look, um, not lying to myself is 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 been the key. Notwithstanding the course material and working with you guys, notwithstanding that, which is obviously the the that's the framework to make it happen, right? Um, for for me, it was I went through the course material and really looked at myself about do I really want to change? Do I really want to change? Do I acknowledge that this is not right? And the moment that clicked with me deep down in my heart, the moment everything started to, to become better because I was working on something to improve. And whether that's, you know, psychologically that you feel like you're doing something from a control point of view, maybe, I don't know. But for me, once my intent was pure, my intent from yeah. the heart was pure, the journey, become, the journey started to flow in terms of the learnings with, your, with, with the course material with Better Marriage. But it, but it had to come from a, um, a place of complete, pure intent for me, that, for me personally. So you have to believe in that you can change. Yeah, you have to believe in that first. And then, and then f- and knowing that there's a process to follow gives you hope. You drop a little bit of faith in there and have some self-look at yourself. And, and it's, it's amazing how powerful you can make them steps forward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So obviously, I don't, I don't want this just to be a a, a sales pitch video encouraging no, people no. to come come work for no. us. I, I want, I want to give people some good value as well that they can take away. So obviously, be, being through the process now, now for for four or five weeks yourself, a lot of guys are in the position where their wife's not really willing to work on the relationship or it's got so bad to where their wives are, are, are kind of checked out. They're not really willing to work on the relationship from, from your experience. Can, can you see a way back for those guys that, that, that their wives absolutely. are not willing to work on it? Absolutely. And first of all, I just want to be really clear on this, right? This is no sales pitch for me either, right? This is yeah, talking, yeah. You know, yeah, I, yeah. I share my personal experience with anyone in the past been difficult, never mind sharing it with you know you and, and anyone else this can potentially support and help so there's no sales pitch here for me whatsoever I just want to make sure that's absolutely clear um to answer your question is the hope for other people to get back with their wife absolutely 110 percent and it's and, and again for for me it's been the intent of the learning that when I do have them and get when I started talking to the wife and needed to have those meetings and you know talk through that I adopted the the correct process you know, and, and detached from that, that the, the outcome, that's been a, that's been a big one. But anyone who's, who's thinking of coming onto this course or, or needs that help, there's absolutely hope because I never thought I would even step foot in the house again, never mind have a relationship of any sort. Um, so the answer is absolutely yes. And it's about doing the work and being honest with yourself and, and really embracing the, the tools that you learn on this, you know, the, the tools I've learned and took away. And, and for me, they, they are simple. They are, you know, the, 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 the way it's described is simple, but applying them is not easy. It's, it's, and that's something I'm, I'm, I'm really learning every day. But the more you do, the more it becomes perpetual. It's, 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 it's empowering. It's empowering. And then I think when you have that in, with true intent in your heart and your head, it does, it does reflect out on how you act. And I think that's how my wife and my children have, have seen it. And, and, and that's how I've made those steps. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Simplicity on the fast side of complexity. We had that, we had that conversation the other day, Tane. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. absolutely. And, and do you know what? The fact that I'm even smiling and laughing on this call, Cody, is, yeah, is testament yeah. to from where it was where I could probably barely hold yeah. a sentence without being emotional. To be able to talk and smile is probably a real demonstration of, of the progress that can be made if you've got the right attitude. Yeah, you know, that, that, that's, the, that's the point there, the right attitude. Like, I don't want to give too much stuff away, but I remember the first conversation we had, Tony, you, you, you were a bit tearful, that first conversation, and probably quite hopeless, if I, if I remember rightly. It was just, just like you said at the beginning of this quarter day, you know, without direction, without, without all of that stuff. And you, in, in four weeks, for me, it's like, it's why I've asked you to, to, to have this conversation with me today is because you're a different man. You know, could you share some of the, some, some of the major changes that, that, that you've been able to identify or some of the major issues that you've been able to identify in your own, in your own life and some of the, the changes that you've been able to make. I, I, absolutely. And, and I, just before I, I summarize that, I want to, I think it's important to know that this is not the first time I've tried to make a change. Yeah. I've, I've tried it before. I've gone, I've, I've seen the doctor, I've, I've seen a therapist and been only very skin deep and not really been honest about how I'm feeling. I'm feeling to be able to address what I've got to do to change. So this is a lot, this is not forced me, it's chose me to, to, to be as completely honest as I can. Um, the, the, the big one for me was, um, you know, the, the, the negative interpretation of things has been really toxic internally, internally to me. So there's lots of tools, there's lots of tools in, in the process that we, you know, that we go through, but the one that's really made the biggest difference to me is identifying that negative interpretation because it's been a root cause of 80, 90% of my behavior. Um, so there's lots of different parts of it that build it up, of course, but that one for me personally, and the lessons I've learned and the sessions we've done for me has made the most difference in changing my perception, how I think. Um, so that, that's internally to me. So once, I've, once I'm getting that in check, it's allowed me then to you know, understand you know, people talk about communication. I communicate with clients um, and in my work, you know, and I'd like to think I do it pretty well, but it's a completely different environment to how it is with loved ones, your, you know, your family and, and things like that. And that's probably something that's been a very acute to me in terms of how to do it and who I must be to do that. Um, and, and that's probably what I've adopted the most, Cody, to make the, the, the 
the positive steps forward to where I am right now. But I, there's no way, there's no, there's no way I could have done that without the mirror being thrown up and getting hit straight between the eyes, which you regularly do and the team regularly do. <laughs> and, and and it hurts, it hurts, but it's good, you know. And and you take it and you reflect on it and you you stew on it a little bit and then you go right, that does make sense. That that's correct. You absorb it and you come back and you reapply it and it's just that that that's sort of my journey. Yeah, no, that's that's brilliant. And, and again, like credit to you, Tony. You, you've taken some of the the buck kicking sort of that have been handed out for sure. And you know something that's important to point out as well. I think you probably you might have seen it yourself with with the the group sessions and stuff like that. It's a that some people show up to feel better and some some people show up to get better. There's I just know what, that's very that's very true. And, and I would say show up to get better and that show up to get better. That's got to be. And this is what I talk about intent, right? Yeah. It, for me, the tools that have been provided for me and, and, the, and the support that's been provided for me, like these people I don't know, right? I, I don't know them. There's people on a screen that we're talking to and it was, and I've got a journal as well. Journaling is very good for me. It's helped me because it reinforces everything because I'm writing it down and I go back. But being able to talk in front of you or your your team and, and, a, and a group of men who are in a lot of pain too, I if someone had said that to me a year ago, there's no way I would have even considered that. But God, it's empowering. It's empowering. And it feels like um, it's like a safe environment, which is, sounds completely yeah. counterintuitive <laughs> to someone that you've never met before, right? So, yeah, uh, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a strange but very empowering journey. And my only regret, well, I've got lots of regrets, which I'm releasing, but my only regret is I should have done it a long time ago. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a, it, 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 it's a really good tone. Yeah, one of the things is, Obviously, like I said, I don't want this to be a, be a sales pitch, but there'll be people that watch that are watching this because they're thinking about joining us, and it's like that there, there is an element of, of if you can't take the truth, this is not going to be for you. It's the truth ultimately that's going to set you free, and it, it, it's the the truth is pretty ugly, or you wouldn't be here right now. And it's like I got to give you that tone, like you've you've taken you've taken your medicine like a big boy on on a lot of occasions. It's been quite brutal at times for you. <laughs> I, I, I'm expecting quite a bit more, if I'm honest. I'm, I'm, I'm not, trying, not trying away from that. But um, look, you, you have, you, you're right. The the truth part of it, of being honest, is scary. It was scary for me, and I'm, I'm assuming yeah. it's going to be scary for others. But um, it, it gets easier. For, for me, it gets easier. It's still scary. You still have that, oh, God, yeah. I've got to address that. But, it, you know, as, you know, when there's light, there's light, right? You just, you've got to do it. You've got to yeah. you've got to address it and be brave. And when you've yeah. when you th- when you think you've been brave to do it, you realise that it wasn't actually that brave to do. It was just that you were so blocked of not being honest with yourself and having the truth around yourself that you know you, you just pile it back. And that's when you start you know you're drinking or your behaviours just become aloof or you don't listen or you know you you, you push people away and all of those all of those escalation things and. Yeah, it's it's it, it's it's not just one it's not just one part of the the one part of the learning for me. It's actually there's big there's part of learning that are really significant for me personally because that's my personal internal yeah. behaviors. But every single part for me has a part to play now, and and the challenge, and I say challenge or the opportunity, right? The opportunity, and that's something else. Is using positive thought has been really helpful. Um, the, the opportunity now is I, I can only make this better. I can only make this better. And if that doesn't excite people and doesn't make you feel relieved and remove that anxiety, I don't think anything will, you know, whereas you've lost it, you're lost at the beginning. And now there's a, I'm not saying there's a perfect pathway. Like I think you said, Cody, you know, you can drive from one side of the country to the other with 20 foot light ahead of you, you know, in the dark. That's right. Instead of being able to see the whole journey, yeah. make, the 20, make the 20 foot, make the 20 foot, make the 20 foot, take the step, take the step. Yeah. And you look back and go, wow, you know, I've got through the course material or you know, these, you know, and it becomes, it becomes habitual. It becomes habitual because you hold yourself accountable. And, and, yeah. and, and, and anyone who's thinking about coming on this, on this course, there's, again, this is just my personal, personal view is it's very empowering. There is pain. I'm not going to, there's, there's pain to address internally. And, and I'd probably say if you share that pain externally, you're going to get more benefit. Um, And there is light at the end of the tunnel. I can promise you there's light at the end of the tunnel because if I could find it, and I've still got a long way to go, still a long way to go. Yeah. 
but I couldn't see the end of my nose. Never mind the end of the room, never mind the end of the road. I, I couldn't see the end of my nose. So um, if anyone's in that place, there is hope. And um, there is a bit of faith involved here, you know, there is definitely some faith involved and that's something I've embraced dearly. Yeah, no, that, that's, that's spot on. It's like without faith, there is no hope. Correct. A lot, of, a, lot, a lot of times I know in my darkest hour and probably, probably you as well, Tony, it's like, and a lot of people that are watching this, it's like hope's all, hope is all that you have at this point. And if you disregard that, you genuinely are at zero in terms of, of, of what you had, you've got to have, You've got to have hope. And, and again, you bring up, you know, a really good point there. And it's like anybody who's watching this, and, and there's going to be a lot of people watching this that are quite hopeless at this point. All you need is your next step. All you need is that next 20 feet of light. As you say, you don't need to know the whole journey. All you need to know is your next step and you need to take your next step. So another, and, another great... to take, and to take that step, you have to have faith. That's right. It, 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 you have to have faith because you, you jump, you know, for me, this was one of the things I'm going I'm going to do this. I don't know if this is the right outcome. Is you know, is it because you like to control things as a man? And what does that look like? And what does that mean? And sometimes you just have to have faith and take the step. And 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 that you've got to do that. And that's got to come from the heart. It just has to. But well, for me, anyway, I'm not saying that's separate. But for me, that has to come from the heart. And, and yeah. every step I've took so far, and I believe deeply that I continue to take, will bring more light. It will allow further progress and. I think I was saying at the beginning, you know, it, it's overwhelming. So you can, so instead of having any negative thought around it, it's actually, you know, it's a great opportunity, you know, it's a great opportunity to, to be the person you were born to be, who you deserve yeah. to be. Yeah. Yeah. And give your, give your, give your wife and children, the father that they also deserve as well in, in, oh, in the process of doing that. Absolutely. You know, like as, as a dad, you know, my, 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 my measure of performance was providing, right. And I'm sure every other dad's got the same, but that is one fiftieth of what you're meant to do. Probably one hundredth of what you're meant to do, to be honest. But it's yeah. it's such a small component for me that where I think that's my role, Jesus, it, it's 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 just wider than I can I can I can describe. And that's okay. That it's it's bad that it's got to that, and that's bad. But it's good that you can identify it and then work on that. And that's where I that's where I'm trying to articulate the the opportunity. So. You know, my, my daughter's, um, she's had anxiety and things. And I haven't helped her. I've had no empathy around listening and understanding. And this last two weeks, my relationship with my daughter has never been closer because I know how to, no, I don't know. I'm aware of how to listen. I'm aware to how to understand and show that support and security, right? Um, like to a point now where we're going to be planning, you know, my daughter's 18, my son's 21. They're, they're, they're adults, you know, they're, they're, they're not kids anymore. So they only know their experience of dad up to this point is the old dad. So I'm just really looking forward to having those relationships one-to-one -one with both my son and my daughter individually, collectively, with my wife individually, and as a family collectively. So there's not even just, and this again, this is me, my learning and understanding. There's the relationship with the, my wife, but my wife has, the relationship with my wife is also reflective of how she feels with my, with my relationship with my son independently my daughter independently, my children collectively. So there's almost like four or five yeah. relationship flows, if that makes sense. And this is where once you, I can see that now, and that's where I want to put my time and effort and, and you know, with the, with the bit of faith and hope, <clears throat> I, I want to do that. I'm excited to do that. And I'm hoping that will then reinforce how my wife feels about me moving forward. So everything where I'm saying I've got to do for me, absolutely. But by doing that and sharing it with my children and creating them relationships, I'm hoping that's also going to build the family unit. And I've been open and honest about that. that's not manipulation. That's me being absolutely clear with my intent from, a, yeah. from the, from the purest form. And I mean that from the heart. And, yeah. and that's when I talk about, you know, doing this, you've got to, you've got to have the purest intent. That's what I feel anyway. That's given me the, the, the motivation and, and the desire to continue. Even when you get hit in the middle of the head regularly, um, you know, it, you've got to have that pure intent to, to, to want to do it. And it's very empowering. And you're, you're a man that, that's been through, you've tried everything, right? Therapy, doctors, counseling, you, you've been, <laughs> you've been through all of, all, all of these. And willpower, Cody, and willpower. And like, willpower like, as well, yeah. Like, willpower is not, willpower doesn't work. For me yeah. anyway. 
for me anyway. It's, it's got to be it's got to be structured and process yeah. driven. But, but maybe that's just the way I'm wired. I don't know. But I've tried all of those. Yeah. The, yeah, the, the, the doctors, the and again and again, reaching out, being brave because I knew something had to be done, but not being honest when I'm there, doing saying what I think they need to hear, never really truly committing to the process has probably been my biggest failing. Whereas this, I've committed to the process entirely. Yeah. Entirely. Yeah. And and the results for me are extremely positive. And I'd like to say, and again, this is no sales pitch. This is just to give people hope that I feel like I've developed, I'm, I've, I'm aware and I'm developing skills for life. That's how I would describe it. Yeah. That's the for, goal. Me, yeah. For, me, for me personally. Yeah. Skills for life. Yeah. And for people that are watching this, Tony, because it's, it's not just you. I mean, you've, you've been with with a, with a you know somewhat sizable group of men now for a period of time. Can, can you see for the men that think that they can fix their marriage by working on their marriage or getting them getting their wives to do do you is, is that a feasible plan? Do you think or or can can you see how somebody can fix a marriage without first working on themselves? I guess Impossible. is the question. Impossible. Uh, you know, I would call that if you're trying to fix your marriage without addressing yourself first, that is you're manipulating, you're trying to control an outcome. Yeah. And and that's probably one of the it's probably one of the first lessons you have to understand is you have to better yourself first. Otherwise, the wheels will fall off. You might get will willpower might get it so far, but unless you address it and you're gonna uh, fix yourself first in, in terms of who you want to be, yeah. And, and, and really be honest with that. I, yeah. I, again, this is my opinion. Yeah. And that's probably what I've done over the years. I've done what I've thought needs to be done to fix things. It, it, the wheels fall off. And this is where, you know, even like my wife now, she's going, you know, I've been very open about what we're, what I'm doing and the journey I'm on. And, and it's, well, let's see, you know, it's cyclical. Let's see what happens in a couple of months' time. Let's see if the old Tony comes back. And, and I'm sure people on who, who are watching this probably resonates with them too, you know. They've tried yeah. and it become cyclical. And that's because you haven't addressed yourself first and been honest with yourself first. So, yeah, in answer to your question, I believe you have you have to address yourself first before you try and address anything else because you'll address it in the wrong way with the wrong yeah. intent. And if it's with the wrong intent, you'll get the wrong outcome. Yeah. yeah. That's my learnings. Yeah, yeah. I think it's interesting to point out that, that hurting people hurt people. And and I know I know when you first joined us, Tony. I mean, you were definitely in some pain. You were definitely in some pain when when you joined us, and and you, as a result, that w- was causing some pain as well of the, of the people around you. And and as long as you as an individual are hurting, I think it's very difficult to stop that hurt in the marriage. And as as long as that hurt is going on, there's really no hope for your spouse to to see any light at the end of the tunnel. So addressing that that hurt within yourself and and releasing the trauma and the turmoil within yourself i think that's a um well i know that's a big step in in actually healing the marriage and it's one of the things i love about you i mean even just looking at your face now telling you just much more you're a different person than you were even a, even a few weeks ago really oh and, and i'm and i'm and i'm very grateful for the support and the tools i've been given and continue to use and that's I probably have something else as well you know the the tools are there the support's there but you've got to continue to use them and and and, and the fact that you know, I think I've been doing anywhere between five and seven calls a week, to be honest, Cody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've been, you've been present. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And be present to get better, not present just to, you know. But yeah. um, you, you've got to do the work, right? There's no there's no shortcuts to this. There's no click of a finger. There's no, I'll buy something and this will fix it. It's like, you, you've, got to, you've got to address it head on, man. You've got to just work it, persevere, do the work. I mean, for, for me personally... You know, I, I went through that the, the material as, as quickly as not as quickly as I could. Well, yeah, I just didn't any spare time. I was doing that. That was my priority. That was my focus. I'm still going back through it again, and I'll pick up modules. And but you know, you've got to do the work. You know, you've got to do the work. And if you're not willing to do the work, don't bother because the wheels are going to fall off again. Yeah, that's right. Transformation comes from uh, radically seek. It doesn't come from exposure to new information. It comes from radically seeking out and implementing new behavior. It's new behavior that's going to produce change in your marriage, not new information. I, 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 your, your articulation of that was perfect. I, I, that's absolutely <laughs> that's absolutely on point. Absolutely on point. And you have to, as a student, 
of this journey, you, 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 you've got to follow. You've got to, that, what you've just said is absolutely on point, 100%. Yeah, a lot of times uh, we talk to a lot of men and, and they, they, they just think that exposure to new information is going to transform their marriage. It's like, no, no, no. It's like it's behavior that your wife is responding to and it's your behavior that your wife is saying no to, which is a very important point to, to, to point out to anybody who's watching this is that your wife's not saying no to you right now. She's saying no to your behavior. And I think you, you'll you admit it yourself, Tone. I'm sure that your behavior when, when, when we first talked was less than stellar, right? And, and the you know, the family unit was saying no to that. And now the behavior, your behavior has changed and your attitude has changed, uh, which is also always the precursor to a behavior change. You're getting different results in your marriage. You're getting different responses from your wife and children. 100%, Cody, 100%. And, and that information has to be really digested and applied. Yeah. Uh, that, that's and, and to be clear, that's not going to fix everything either. You know, that, that behavioral change that I'm absolutely 100% committed to and will continue to be for as long as a breath in my body. But that only yeah. gets you to a point of where communication can come back. That doesn't fix it. That just that gets you to a point where you can talk and engage. There's still a lot of work to do around that and it's very easy to damage that as well. So what we've just described, and again, this is my personal experience, once that information is received, understood, and really applied for that baseline behavior change, that gets you to the table, in my mind. When yeah, you're at the right. table, you've still got to demonstrate that. And that's my challenge where I am right now, is theoretically, articulately, how it's the, the, the intent is pure and that can be seen, but it's only through action will that really cement a relationship back together or, or give any chance of anything being put back together, as, as, as I see it. So it's, it's, it's just to get you back to the table in the first instance. And then from there, you know, that's where the work really begins, you know? That's exactly right. I mean, we've obviously got, we got phases that we go through here. Like the step number one is we want to get our wife to say, okay, you've got five minutes to explain yourself to me, or you've got, okay, I'll give you the opportunity. Cause a lot of guys, I mean, you, you see it yourself, like their wives are not communicative to them. They're not even willing to, they're not even willing to come to the table in terms of, of having a conversation at this point. So you're exactly right there, Tony. Step one is, you know, we've got to we've got to go through the process of opening our wives up to even having a conversation, and then once we have that conversation, we we can't have the same conversation that we've always had because confirmation bias. And you know, our wives are wounded creatures at this point. For 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 most of the people that 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 are at the point to where the relationships come into the end, there's there's years, even decades of of, of pain and suffering going on, and that's not just going to turn around overnight. There has to be some uh, just saying I'm not going to do that anymore doesn't do it. There has to be an extended period of behavior. And that only comes from uh, changing yourself. You can't change, you can't change your behavior for any length of time without changing yourself. There has to be that internal shift, which 100%. what is why you're here. You've you've really embraced that internal shift and and you know you're starting to really reap the rewards from that, Tony. Yeah, no, I, I, for, for sure. And the that internal shift, you know, I think as part of it, you know, it's like anything. Like I, I've I've recruited people and and work with people and you, you know you know their true colors within, within six to eight weeks you know it's hard to hold a facade yeah, um, yeah. And, and i guess that goes back to if you're intense pure that facade is not a facade it's you it's the identity it's you yeah. um and I, I guess that's probably the biggest difference for me now right now is that's this is how i identify now it's how i choose yeah. to identify now because yeah. so I'm, I'm i'm confident i don't care if it's one week eight weeks ten weeks eight months or eight years my correction now is the path i choose to maintain and develop and enhance not just i'm doing it to to fix a position and i guess that's a that, that's the for me that's the fundamental mind shift difference that, that i've taken from this but you know you're not going to show me how to do that cody no one else on that call is going to show me how to do that you got to be able to listen and go in your heart is this what i want to do and and that's my personal journey you know it's, it's that flick of a switch where it's absolutely this is it, it's done yeah. everything disappears yeah. This is what I want to do. And that's got that's certainly got me from very dark position to a point where I can see some light and some opportunity yeah. ahead. A lot of work, but opportunity yeah. being positive. But you know, that, that's a deep within decision you have to make, and certainly something I've done. Yeah, yeah. And, and and at the end of the day, our wives are saying if we're in a position where the marriage is coming to an end, or maybe we've we've left the the 
the house or something like that. The the wife is saying no to version 1.0 of Tony or version 1.0 of Cody. It's like reintroducing version 1.0. She's yeah, already said no to that. She's already rejected that. There has to be a different version showing up. And that that comes from, a, you know, there's no change in the marriage without a change of identity is one of the things that, that I genuinely believe. Without changing your identity, you can't change the marriage for any length of time. And, and again, you, you've embraced that philosophy beautifully, Tony. Credit to you for that. No, I, I, I wouldn't have I wouldn't have been able to do that without the guidance and support, you know, this journey. So I just wouldn't have... Again, you know, I was saying it's it's simple. You, know, you you say that to someone, go, or you read that in a book, you go, that's, that's bloody obvious, right? That's obvious, but yeah. bloody hell, the obvious is sometimes not that easy to to embrace, you know. And and something, you know, as as, as again, I've got lots of work to do, but last night something in particular was was, you know, in the past, you know, you know either you put people on a pedestal or you put them down or you put them up. One thing I'm seeing very clearly now me personally with my relationship with my wife is we're level but level so we were talking about feelings last night and i know i mentioned a few things to you you before this call and and i said you know what's important to me is how i make you feel your feelings are important to me and i want to make sure that Mm -hmm. you feel good around me you know so it's not gonna it's gonna take time for that but that's what i want yeah that's what i choose to i want you to feel good around me and if being away from you helps you feel better about me, then whatever it is that you need. And my wife actually said to me, she goes, but it's also important that your feelings are met, Tone. And, and it was like the first time the, 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 feeling, the feeling discussion went two ways, you know? Mm. Uh, and I said last night, I said, you know, babe, we, move to, to move forward. Whatever that may look like for you, I know what I'd like to be and what it wants to be, which I've shared with you, but we're level, we're, we're equal, we're... Your feelings are just important as mine and mine is in yours. That's that's that mutual respect, right? And and it just it's just making sense to me, Cody. You know, it's like I'm seeing things in a completely different manner. And and as a man, I, I don't know about anyone else who, who who watches, but you're not taught this shit as a as a kid. You're not taught this stuff as an adolescent. You're not necessarily taught this stuff as a as a young man. It, it, I, I don't know. I, I certainly haven't been taught this. So it, it, it just feels like my, my toolbox is increasing and I'm learning to use the tools. But again, with the right intent. Not, 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 not being a manipulative intent, but the right intent to do the right thing, regardless. Yeah. 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 And, it, and if I could leave anybody with anything, that, that, would, be, that would be the key takeaway. I mean, that, that's the keys to the kingdom there. It's like if you're doing something to produce an outcome, then that's a manipulation. And I imagine your wife, Tony, one of her, complaints was manipulative behavior and it's it for all of us right like we, we're doing things to manipulate outcomes and when we can actually let go of that outcome and go i'm doing this because it's the right thing to do i'm doing this because it's in your your interest it's very hard to resist somebody that genuinely has your best interest at heart very hard to resist that it's very easy to resist something that's it's in a state of manipulation and again i think it's uh you know, and you might have an opinion on this as well, Tony, you've seen a lot of men now that are in this situation. There's a lot of self-deceit going on where, where men are actually going, I'm doing this for my wife's best interest. And it's like, are you really, or are you are doing you really? this for your best interest? Are yeah. you giving your wife space because she needs it and she's asking for it? Or because if you give her the space, she might come back and that benefits you. It's like, it's very easy to deceive yourself into believing that you're, you're acting altruistically and in their best interest when actually we're still trying to manipulate which is why we say, you know, you've, you've embraced the philosophy of never grade your own homework, right? Never grade your own homework, never assume, because yeah. the mind and the heart is a wicked, deceptive thing, and we, it will deceive us at the best of times. Yeah, and, and I found that extremely useful as well, you know? So to two things, one on, on this manipulation thing, and, and to say it's not there now, it would, would be a lie, but I'm aware of it, so I stop and I think about it and I assess it, right? It's not happening. It's not happening subconsciously at the moment. I've got to still think about it hard. Yeah. And 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 I guess anyone who's watching this, if you really sit with yourself at a cup of tea sometime and think about it, you'd be surprised how much you do it without thinking. You'll actually manipulate without thinking because it's just how you are. You've got again how I how I was. Shall I say? Shall I shouldn't assume anything, but um, I'm I'm very mindful now that is am I? What's the what's the reason for this? What's the intent? And I keep going back to this intent thing. You know, it, it, it's very easy to fall back into that. You've got to catch it early. But, and you're not going to get that unless you're honest with yourself. You know, so the, the, the intent thing about um, the change and doing the, the, the right thing for the right reason for 
a non-controlled outcome. It sounds simple, it's hard, but it's very, very, very positive and beneficial to build a relationship back. That's what I've found anyway, Cody. Yeah, but ultimately you're being graded on your intention. Like we all, we all have best of intention, worst of results, right? We do things well-intentioned and it ends very badly and we can come, we can come back from that versus maybe a, a, a good outcome such as you mentioned like for all men really is security, isn't it? Like we've given our wives a nice house, a nice car, nice holidays. It's like, that's, that's not enough. No, the, 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 that's not, we're, we're getting a good outcome, but we're being graded. We're getting a failing grade on that because the, the intentions, it's not enough. That's exactly right. It's not enough. So I'll give, I'll give an example, right? And this, I hope this will give some, some hope to people. Um, yeah. The other, was it Friday, Friday night, you know, like, you know, normally I'll go, we'll go out for a nice dinner somewhere, somewhere nice. And, you know, it's maybe not the cheapest place, but nice. We were both in, we both finished work and do, running around, we're in just crappy shorts and a vest. And, and I, I just said, I owe you, I owe you chips and curry sauce. You wanted chips and curry sauce the other week. Sort of fancy. And I remember I went, I owe you chips and curry sauce. Let's go. And, very English. So, very English. Yeah. Very English. So we just jumped in the car, went down to the local foreshore, found a spot, ordered chips and curry sauce. Sat, kind of, kind of, kind of soda, and, and just sat on the beach and just watched. And we just sat there. And we just had, just had chips and curry sauce, and and, and just watched the sun go down, and, and spoke about a few things, and and that and that will happen where you'll, it's nice, and then it'll go painful, then it'll come back, and that's that's unpackaging the the feelings which got to be done. And we came back, and I tell you what, it was probably the best two or three hours I've, we, yeah, we had in a long time. So it's not about materialistic; it's not about providing. It was ten dollar fish, ten dollar chips and curry sauce sitting together, sharing an experience and being in the moment. And, you know, in the past, would that have been a manipulative move? Maybe. Pure intent. And it felt, and it felt so, I'm not gonna, well, I will swear, it felt fucking great, you know? Mm -hmm. and, and being able to see that for what it is, I know it probably sounds really silly, but to see, for, see that what it is with this true intent was really good for me. And, and, and Jane, she, you know, we speak about it. And just those little things, those little moments together with the purest of intent, it's not extravagant, but it's powerful. That's 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 how I feel about things now in my energy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. It's not the. I think it's why traditional therapy is is, is problematic in the results that it gets. Is it's just it's just addressing specific issues. It's not it's not going into things such as what we're talking about here as as the intent behind it and and, and all of that stuff. Yeah, intention is is very very powerful. Yeah, and 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 and. and truly listening and i don't know if anyone else is on you know feels this but you know you, you have a busy day and you'll you'll hear it you'll listen it'll just wash over you or you, you don't you're not truly listening right and I, again this is just i go back to this simple and easy thing right to go actually i'm in the moment now and i'm listening to what is being said and i'm trying to understand it and validate and really work through that and again it sounds really obvious but with the tools of you know going through the, the program and applying them my God, have I seen that? Do I, first of all, do I feel different? Absolutely. I feel empowered to be able to do it. And also when to say, hey, I don't need to have this conversation. It's all right if we do it in half an hour because I'm not, I want to give you my full attention rather than just listening. Yeah, 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 yeah. Crack a beer over your head. That's just so damaging. And to get that relationship back for me is, is knowing that is a bad trait to have. So learning to listen. God, it's a simple word. It's, it's so powerful. But the, you know, the tools I've, I've taken from this journey so far and continue to learn and try and hone and embrace has been a, a real benefit for me. And, and, by, and I'm talking selfishly here for me because if I can do it and I understand it, then I can put that with the family, my daughter, my son, my wife. So when I say me, I'm not being selfish, but I'm being selfish to the fact that I need to have these skills to be able to be the person that I need to become. And that's probably the, the big difference between therapy in the past and things I've done. Yeah. It's, it's just treating the surface. Whereas now I've, it's about treating me. If I'm being selfish, you know, it's about me being better. Yeah. And having yeah. skills and, and embracing them so that I can use them and apply them to the better of the family. Yeah. Yeah. Which reminds me of a great, great biblical phrase. It's, it says, you know, if the, if the physician wants to get sick, who will heal this physician and it's a term I love selfish benevolence. It's, it's, we're being, we're being, being benevolent by being selfish, by helping ourselves and, and growing ourselves and dealing with our own trauma and our, our own issues. 
by actually dealing with those, it puts us in a position to where we can actually be there for our family, for our kids, for our wives. Well, well we're just a traumatic mess. How, how can we be there for somebody else? It's like two starving people coming together saying, let's share our food. It's like we're both starving here. At some point, somebody has to get some food in this relationship for everybody to benefit. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I, 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 you described it far more articulately than me. I just call it the wheels fall off. <laughs> <laughs> the wheels fall yeah. off. But, uh, awesome. the, the, these yeah. wheels, these wheels are getting double bolted, lock tighted, and and and, uh, and wire locked. They, they ain't coming off. <laughs> no, 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 wheels are not falling off anymore. Yeah, no. and how you do anything, like another thing that's very important to understand is how you do anything is how you do everything. If you're failing, if you're failing in your marriage you you're failing with your you're failing in every area of life as well that, that that's unquestionable you can't be really diligent and successful in one area but a complete mess in the other even the areas that it seems like there's success there's still there's still certainly areas that it, it, within those successful areas that you're going to be able to improve by actually upgrading the, the the software up here you know for want of a better way of saying it yeah and and, and obviously I, I have businesses and things i do quite heavily out obviously i'm doing a lot, lot of work outside in, in my own businesses and yeah. things um and, I, and and you're right with that i mean for me at the moment my priority is me to be better for me who i want to be so i can look after the family etc cetera, etc cetera. but learning these new behaviors and acknowledging them and embracing them i can definitely see how i, I can be applying that to my work world for sure particularly around calmness and peace which yeah yeah, you still got to be fiery sometimes. You still have to be a warrior in areas. You know, that's life. That's work. We live in a capitalistic world. Yeah. That's what it is. But how you do that is actually, there's room for improvement. And there's yeah. some of the, and I'm not there yeah. yet, and I don't claim to be, but I can clearly see the benefits of my deep changes that I'm doing with the family, how that's going to help outside of the family. And I'm not there yeah. yet for sure, but I can yeah. definitely see that. I can, and I can. And there's certain parts I'm trying to do. You know, I gave a good team briefing the other day and, um, and it was, I really, I was deep in the course material and I started just by virtue of applying it and validating with people that they understood, is there anything they want, you know, that, that deeper conversation with my team during the meeting and also hanging around afterwards, just little things I did differently, just little things I did differently, which is what I've took from this journey that I'm on so far. And there was benefit in that, you know, there's, and that the measure of that for me in the, in the work, work world was normally after a meeting, there'll be, I didn't quite understand that and there's follow up questions and there's, it was it was done it was closed and everyone was absolutely clear and comfortable with what needed to be done in in its entirety and yeah. motivation was high and and you know feedback was good and that type of thing so it only sounds really small but just by taking that couple of extra minutes and applying a little bit more thought in how it's going to be projected and communicated and validated for me with my team in the work world <clears throat> which is obviously what I'm learning as a person with my family I saw a benefit in that so there's definitely there's definitely scope there for 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 optimization, shall I say. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And, and you bring up a good point in that story as well. Be, being a man that has strength and the ability to protect through force, and that, but that strength is under control, is, is a very attractive quality. Being a monkey with a machine gun is a very unattractive quality. It's like strength, strength muscled and strength controlled is, is, a, very, is a very important thing, whereas a lot of people, we just... We have that we have that strength and we have that ability to use the force when we need it, but it's under, it's not under control. It, it's it's random and it can ha it can come out at any time and it can be very terrifying in that in that capacity. So what you're saying is very good there, having that you know developing the self control to where you you have the force if you need it, but it's only going to be used in an appropriate situation. This is definitely a very attractive quality that that your wife and employees also are going to be experiencing, no doubt, from you. Yeah, and 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 something else again. If this helps any of the little lads and the, the gents on the, and who watch this video, you know, it's easy to beat yourself up about the past. There's still there's things that have wrong, right? Otherwise, I wouldn't be on this call, and people who are yeah. watching this wouldn't be on this call. Wouldn't be here, yeah. Yeah, but there's also things you've done well in life, guys. You know, and and you beat I beat myself up a lot, and I've got to realize there's still we're still here. There's still things we've done. There's still things we've achieved. Some of the things aren't great. But there's an awful lot of good stuff there. There's an awful lot of good memories as well as the bad. And you've got to hold on to them. You've got to release the bad. You know? And I, I guess what I'm saying is it's easy to beat yourself up and become so internally myopic and inward thinking that everything is, you've done everything wrong your whole life. And 
two things. One, you haven't, is my opinion. What I haven't, one I haven't, yeah. just because I've done wrong. But also, it's just a great opportunity to acknowledge the things you've done wrong, let them go, and rebuild the good. Rebuild the good. But I guess what I'm saying is don't don't beat yourself up that much, you know. And I I was beating myself up to a point where I was, do I really want to be here anymore? Okay, so yeah, you don't, you don't get much lower. But now you know you're, you're moving forward. There's, there's 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 an awful lot of positivity in the past, and remember that, and release the negative. And and that's something that's the journey I'm going through about my internal healing. So I yeah. guess I, I guess what I'm trying to do is give a word of hope. I guess to yeah, no, who, you're doing a good job, Tony. You're doing a good job. Just to give no, a word of hope, you know. But, there is light at the end of the tunnel, sure. regardless of what you think. You don't know what you don't know. Is 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 the point? Yeah. And and and, so, and and I want to I want to quote you on this one, Cody. Just to read <laughs> how much I, how much I value your input and guidance and the team's guidance. And it's something I was thinking about last night. Again, was you know slow is smooth, smooth becomes fast. Slow is smooth, smooth is fast. Yep. Yeah. So I listen to what you say and I write these things down and. and, <laughs> and and because that there for me is how I manage impatience. Because yep. you know, if you're busy in your your work life, you get things done. This is not a quick win process, right? It's not a it's not a quick win. Click a finger, it's done. You, you've got to go through. You've got to do the work. Yeah. <clears throat> so patience for, and I think I've, I've emailed you on this about you know I don't want to rush this. I don't want to see my questions yep. on the phone. But I just want to make yep. sure I'm doing it effectively. Correct. Um, yeah. um, and I went back through my notes and I'm and I'm going, no, smooth, it's a slow, is smooth, smooth becomes quick and fast. And, yeah. and that's, that, that's patience. That's how I'm that's how I'm managing it, you know. So th- these are the type of lessons I'm taking away and I'm trying to apply. Yeah, no, that that's brilliant. Thanks. Thanks for sharing that. I appreciate it. It makes me feel good when you when uh, you you quote stuff back and uh, I'm like, yeah, that's that's I did say that. <laughs> yeah. Well, and and and, and you know, I'd say, you. I'd say to anyone, why why invest in better in yourself if you're not going to absorb gonna do the work? Food? Yeah, abs- and absorb the content and, and apply it apply it to you and how it works for you individually. You know, you got to you got to do the work. You know, you've got to be humble. Yeah, and yep. you've got you've got to listen. And yep. some parts some parts will resonate really hard, but then some parts for me don't. It's, there's certain little parts I don't, but it's not from the from what I've done with you. It's probably been from <clears throat> the wider spectrum of people on calls because it's specific to them. But I'm learning to go. Well, I, I respect that, but that doesn't. That's that. That is. That's not for my environment. I, I know that, and I can be honest and say that doesn't work for me. But I respect yours. Yeah. But the the core function of what we've going through and the course material and this journey all works for me. I just apply, yeah. I, just, I just take it and apply it how I feel it's going to work. Yeah. But you, know, you said marking your own homework, and, I, and I, at the beginning I didn't understand that. At the beginning, yeah. and certain things I didn't understand in the materials. But the more you go through it and you ask and clarify and go, does this, am I reading this correctly or is my interpretation correctly? You've got to ask the question. Now, that's something I found very useful is having the platform to go and, and the, the security to be able to go, I don't understand this, this concept. What does that you know, What does that mean? Am I applying it in the right way? So the, 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 the marking your own homework or don't mark your own homework is actually really, really good. And, and the fact that when... One of the tools I really like about this, and Cody, and, and I, was, I was talking to my wife about this actually, was um, my last question to the group is, this is what I, I'd like to know. This is what I've done. And to be honest, what I found was 99% of the answer was in what I've done in my understanding. It was just you to, you know, someone to go, that's right, maybe tweak this or consider that. And then your homework's valid, your homework's a pass. And, and I found that quite useful. So it's not just go ask a question, get an answer. It's ask a question what have you done about this what you what 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 do you believe how are you going to apply it and by doing that you're actually processing the logic that's how i found it anyway yeah and for, yeah. Me, for me that's powerful because it means i've done i've done the work the homework right and if i've missed anything the opportunity is then for it to be checked by the team you know in terms of a conversation or whatever that is you know it's not, yeah. it's not school that yeah. for me has been really powerful because it it actually gives you some confidence as well to believe in yourself. This is what I've took away from it. It's given me confidence in myself to go, I can do this. I'm, 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 I'm studying it hard. I understand it. I'm practicing it. And by virtue of going, this is my question. This is what I'm thinking. And that's validated as pretty damn close. Well done. It makes me feel great. I'm, I'm, I'm on the right track. It's given me 
give give me confidence in my own ability i guess is what i'm saying yeah yeah because there's two ways we can go with this tony it, it, it's like it would be very easy to teach learned help helplessness to where you, you you're completely unable to have a conversation with your wife without first checking in and going okay you know checklist 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 check checklist yeah. versus my goal for you is is ultimately to become your own relationship coach and coach to others as well when people start seeing the results that you're getting uh like i'm sure some people will watch this and they'll they'll reach out to you in some way or other it's like as soon as people start to see that you have these skills then then the goal is for is for me is for you to become your own relationship coach to where eventually you can go okay i don't i don't need to go to cody or i don't need to go to rob or, or whoever anymore I, I can actually i have the thought process and i have the I, I have the process to evaluate what's going on here to make the right decision for myself and at that point you really become become independent and, and much more valuable to your wife and children for sure for sure and and to be honest what you've just described is, is how i work in my professional capacity outside of de you know, dealing with my personal issues yeah and and this is the this is the part it's like i do that i do that already in a professional capacity follow the process get the outcome coach guide but doing it internally for yourself, it's, it's okay to ask for help. It's okay to, sometimes you need that fresh set of eyes so, uh, and, and that, that new information and then learning that new information and applying it. As I say, there's, there's a lot of simple fundamentals there, but you know, if you're not, you've got to change your wiring. You have to change your wiring. There you go. You have to change your wiring. <laughs> to, yeah, to, to exactly, it, exactly right. <laughs> yeah, version, version 1.0 of whoever you are right now is not to go look in the mirror and be honest and go cody you're a very good looking guy but you're not getting the job done you're fired <laughs> <laughs> we're bringing somebody we're bringing in starting tomorrow morning we're bringing in somebody new here to run this relationship because yeah you, you had a good run at it man but this is the mess you've made you got to go and it, it's kind of funny you're laughing but it, it, it's true you know it's like the the person that for, for most people that are watching this right now the person that they're looking at in the mirror it's not the person that's going to fix their marriage one yeah. and, and, and do you know what I, I, I'm probably a bit cringy look in the mirror and say I'm going to change you know I, I, I haven't done it for this this week but for the first couple of weeks it was it was regular talking to myself in the mirror or talking yeah. to myself in the head and yeah, yeah. You know, but you, you've got to, you've got to embrace the change or you've got you got to want the change you know it's, and that's why I go back to this what's your intent man like if your intent is to because you do love you. And that's another thing, right? That's another thing that I've, I've been honest with is, is do you want to be with your wife? Mm. Do you know, and that's a, do you want to be with your wife? Fair question. Mean, yeah. It's a very fair question. Yes. Yeah. Because if, if, if the answer is no, then the change, I mean, the change you do is for yourself anyway, right? For sure. That you, you gotta, you've got, that's the first point. But then the second point is what's my driver? My driver is, yeah, I need to change for who I want to be regardless. But the next one is, do I want to be with my wife? And then it's a, it's a fair question. And I've, and I've been honest with my wife and I've analyzed yeah. it. I've thought about yeah. what, what, what life be without yeah. her. And for me, life with my wife is a thousand or inf infinitely times better than without her. Yeah. There's nothing I would change about her. She's great. She's an angel and really, really resonate with me on how lucky I am to have that person. And I've damaged that. And, and if I've got a chance to rebuild that, but you've got to be honest about that because it's also okay to go, do you know what? It, I don't want to be with her, but you still go through this change because she deserves that, and it'll and it'll it'll help drive an amicable outcome. But you've you've got a you wouldn't be on this call if you didn't love your wife. I guess what I'm, is probably the the deep rooted meaning. But I think you've really got to ask that question honestly to yourself. Well, I certainly did anyway. I um, no, it's a valid. It's absolutely. I mean, a lot of the guys, and I'm sure you've heard it in 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 the group sessions as well, where a guy will be talking about his wife like she's this and she's this and she's this. It's like, why do you even want to be with this woman? Do, do you even, I, there's I've nothing heard, about I've what you're saying. I don't want to say it. <laughs> I've, I've, I've heard that on a few calls and, and I've thought that, but I, not my position, I'm not qualified or yeah. to say that. I have, I've seen that and, and felt that Cody actually. So yeah. it's a bloody valid point. Yeah. It's like, do you, why, why do you want to be with a woman that is all of these negative things? Do you even, you know, it's like, is it just your ego is being hurt? Are you just, are you just feeling like, or is it a selfish thing? You know, you're just going to not have sex for a while if she leaves. It's like, what, what, why do you want to be with this woman? Because ultimately it's like, unless you can really get to the bottom of that and go, I want to be with this woman because she's genuinely my soulmate. Like, like you've the conclusion you've come to, you're just not going to do the work. It's just going to be too hard. Absolutely. And this, and, and all of these, all these descriptions are 
everything I've been thinking about this whole journey. And it comes back to this, and I keep saying about it, it comes back to the intent, right? What is the intent? And that's, the, the intent is, is a buildup of all of these things like we're discussing now, right? In my, in my simple mind, yeah. it all comes back to intent. What is the intention? What is the, what's that intent from the heart? You know, it, it, you've got to have the right intention. And from that, you're, you know, the attitude will come. The gratitude, you know, and the, and the feeling of potential of happiness and hope comes. And, and the more it becomes like a perpetuating, it grows. Yeah, momentum. And, uh, yeah, and, and, and I feel like that comes out. And don't get me wrong, this is not, everything's perfect, roses and rainbows, roast into glasses all the time. Yeah, it, it goes backwards and forwards for sure, you know, and it continues to, and I know it's going to happen a lot more for me. Um, but as long as the intent is pure and the intent and the push is pure, none of that really matters. You know, the right attitude, the facts don't matter type thing. It, it's, yeah. it's, it's true. It's true. As long as the intent's pure and the energy behind that's pure, you'll, you'll keep pushing through and find the outcome. That's what I believe. Well, that's what I've experienced. Yep. It's what I choose to believe moving forward so that yep. I can make this work for, for me and yep. my family. Yeah. Well, Tony, you've been super generous with, with your time and, and, and sharing, being open and sharing your experience experience today if you could leave anybody who's watching this that's in a bit of a desperate situation hopeless situation they feel like all is lost any any advice that that you could leave them with taking the first step is the best step and taking the taking that first step into an environment that for me personally has changed my life not just over the last four weeks, but I know it will change my life for the future, is be brave, take the step, and be honest. Be honest with yourself. Be honest with your intent. Be humble. Listen and do the work. That's how I'd describe my advice. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks Thanks so much, Tony, for, for, for being open and sharing today. Bless Lovely. you. I'm sure I'll see you on a call in a couple of hours from now. So, uh, Absolutely. Yeah, you, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not going anywhere soon, Cody, I'm afraid. You're going to see me, unfortunately. All right.